It's large, in charge, whatever. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to be doing my hair routine for you guys. And this is one of my most requested videos. And I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if you requested it a long time ago and you're kind of wondering why it took me so long. Basically, I just wanted to be really firm in my opinions of the products that I'm going to be giving to you. And I just wanted to really know that everything was going to work. So guys, I thought that I would just sit down and show you what my hair um, actually looks like air dried. And this is a little bit different than just, um, you know, getting out of the shower and just letting it air dry because I had it in a crown braid because I actually had to go somewhere and, um, <laughs> you know, this whole process of expanding hair drying out isn't, isn't, uh, isn't great for me. So I thought that I would put it up for, um, you know, just for reasons. And anyways, I'm mumbling. What I want to say is that uh, I thought it'd be easier for you guys to be able to tell what kind of texture and characteristics my hair has if it actually looked like it does when I don't really do very much to it. So this is what it looks like and it is very big 80s hair. Um, I kind of wish that I had the confidence just to kind of go out in this and be like, this is me, this is who I am. But I don't really have that yet, honestly. It's just like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, one of my favorite bloggers, Tro Rouge, has really big hair and it looks so cool on her. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think I should wear it like this? Probably not. Um, but it's just really big, as you can tell. It's got a, it's got a wide radius. It's not, a, it's not a sphere, but anyways, it has a wide. It's wide. So what I'm saying is that I don't want to be sitting in front of someone in a class and then being like, oh my gosh, the girl with big hair sits in front of me every day, even though they already probably think that because I don't really like to sit in the back. I don't know. So yeah, big hair girl. This is what it looks like. It's large, in charge, whatever. It is frizzy and it is um, kind of kinky curly. It's a little bit spirally in places, but um, I, I don't know if you can tell right here. I have kind of a big frizz section like this. Do you see this texture? It's kind of like weird there and my thickest sections of hair actually these two sections kind of back here in the back it's a lot of hair there this just looks like the thickest because i have bangs a little bit but um yeah so it's thick it's dry it is curly and frizzy so that's my hair type and uh, i just want to let you guys know so you'll know if these products that i'm sharing with you might be something that work for you so the first thing that i want to talk about is before i get in the shower i have an ombre dye so it is bleached at the bottom and like I said my hair already is dry and frizzy so the bleach definitely like doesn't help that but I just like that it gives it a little bit of extra dimension so that's why I have the ombre dye but um anyways I use coconut oil in my hair like once every two weeks and I use it when I know that I'm going to be getting a shower the next morning so I what I'll do is I just will take a little handful and I will just rub it in my hands and apply it to the ends of my hair and you know if it's really like if my hair is being really frizzy up top or anything which sometimes I do have problems with frizz right here so if it's if it's being if it's doing that it's usually because it's extra dry so I just kind of put it wherever I feel that it needs it mostly in the ends though and then I'll put it up in a bun and go to sleep wake up the next morning and do my normal shower routine and my normal shower routine starts with me getting in the shower with um you know, about every every two days, every two or three days, and uh, sometimes it can be a bit longer than that or a bit shorter than that, depending on how often I'm exercising and getting sweaty and things like that. So when I get in the shower, um, if you have curly hair, you know that it is a pain to try to brush your hair. There really is no good way to brush your hair um, dry at all. There's no way you can brush it dry, at least, at least if your hair is like mine, because it will just get larger and larger and wider. What I do when I get in the shower, the first thing is that I take a wide tooth comb and I start at the ends and I comb up like this. I mean obviously I'm pulling the comb down, but I start with a small section and then I work my way up. I use this right here, which is Lush's Trichomania Shampoo. 
And honestly, I used to be the type of person that thought that shampoo didn't make a difference. And the reason that I thought that was because I hadn't found the kind of shampoo for my hair that would make a difference. This is so conditioning. And um, for some people, that is not a good thing. If you have oily hair, this probably is not going to work for you. But this is so conditioning, um, but it really does clean my hair, especially when it's all tangle-free so that I can apply it all over my hair. Um, but because it is so conditioning, it really helps my hair um, from getting frizzy. I think that when I was using other shampoos, I would dry out the hair too much, and then even though putting conditioner on top, I think that initial stage of drying it out too much like made, made uh, the end product not look as good. So this has definitely made a big impact with me. I would, um, I'm not sure if Lush does samples. I feel like they probably would, but if this is something you're interested in, with all of these products basically, um, if, they're, if they're a department store, go and ask if you can get a sample if your Sephora or Ulta or Lush or whatever um, does samples, then go and ask for a sample and that we can test it out and see if it's something that you like. So right now you're going to be seeing what this product looks like when lathered. And I'm hesitant to say the word lather because as you can see, it doesn't really bubble up that much. It just kind of looks like a conditioner. Um, it does bubble a little bit when you get it in your hair, but on the skin, um, it mainly kind of looks like a creamy based product, which is really nice. And um, when I apply this, I just apply it all in my hair and then I rinse it out. And that is how I shampoo, like, not really that you need a um, tutorial on shampooing your hair. So next for my conditioner, I use Joico's Moisture Recovery Conditioner for dry hair. And I usually try to find this at my local TJ Maxx, so check out yours because you can get it a lot cheaper. Um, but it smells really nice and it really just does the job of moisturizing my hair. Uh, I do use a um, like a deep treatment every single time I wash my hair, but this really does do a good job. If I'm in a huge hurry, I will just use this, but otherwise I use a deep treatment. So I apply this and then I wash it out. Then I apply my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle um, deep treatment to my hair. I will concentrate it mainly on the ends, but if I feel like an, like an area, just like with the coconut oil, just like with the coconut oil, I feel if I feel like an area of my hair is particularly dry, then I will apply this there also. And I will just take a hairband and put my hair in a bun and then kind of do whatever else I need to do in the shower. And then I rinse that out. So I leave that in for probably five-ish minutes. Um, yeah. And then I wash it out. I squeeze my hair out, I twist it, and I squeeze the water out of it just to try to dry it a little bit without uh, while it's still wet because um, if you have curly hair you know the more that you touch it once it's like drying or partially dry or dry uh, it will get frizzier so while it is still like sopping wet I squeeze out wring out if you will I wring out the water and then I put my hair in a t-shirt and I have a little tutorial here of me styling my hair so it's just gonna be the voiceover to go with this so yeah, I'm going to apply my Ooey Dad Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel, and this is my favorite product. Um, I'm going to be using a little bit of a different method than the scrunching method because that I found that that just doesn't do anything for my curls. Um, it really like doesn't make them look good, so I'm going to be doing the twisting uh, method as you will see, and using a diffuser with my Ion hair dryer and it's a Conair diffuser that fits on the end. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I style it right now. So first I just wrap my hair in a t-shirt after I get out of the shower and then I'm just going to squeeze out some more of the water. And now I'm just making sure that I like where it's parted at. Then I'm going to use my Ooey Dad heat and humidity gel. I'm just taking about a quarter size amount for each section that I do. I do about six to eight pieces in a section. And now I'm just going to take it, rub it between my hands, and then apply it to the hair. And I'm going to twist it around my fingers away from the face. That's important. And I'm just going to twist it back up towards my head, and then I'm going to pull the hair off of my fingers so that the um, it will kind of fall down in, into the twist. I'm just showing you again here the technique winding away from the face. 
And like I said, I reapplied the product after about six to eight pieces of hair like that. So after I do my entire hair in little sections, I'll just go back in and um, just do like the same thing with a, a few larger sections just to make sure that there's really going to be a lot of curl. Um, so I'm just doing that and then I'm just kind of making sure that I like how it looks. You'll kind of get better at it with practice. Now I'm just taking my blow dryer with my diffuser and I'm going to be blow drying my hair. Now I just twirl the hair like I did earlier and then I just push it up with the diffuser. I don't always twirl it but if it's not holding enough of a curl then I'll kind of like rework it and then I will um, yeah just blow dry it up so that I like my hair to look a little bit shorter than the length that it actually is so that's why I use that method. So I just continue to dry my hair this way until my hair is about 90% dry. Um, I'm just letting you now see how it looks. Now I'm just spraying my hair all over with a heat protectant. Now I'm setting my curling iron in the highest heat setting and it's a Revlon 3 4 So now I'm just taking the hair and wrapping it away from my face around the curling iron. And I do use the clamp. I put the clamp down and I hold it for a few seconds and then I release the hair. And I just kind of do this as needed. Um, it's just kind of how I feel styling it that day. I do it to frizzy hair pieces or kind of whatever. Just however you want, basically. And that is the end result. So there is my hair routine, guys. So that's my hair routine, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Yeah, if there are any questions that I didn't answer or you want to know more about the products, then let me know and I will do another video or I will answer your question in a comment. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.